Welcome back to the Health Benefits Hub channel. Hey there, welcome back. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic, the 12 worst foods that could be wreaking havoc on your kidney health. Taking just a few minutes to prioritize your body's well-being can have long-lasting benefits, so stick around until the end of this video because I've got some important insights to share with you. Think of your body as a finely tuned machine, with each part needing to function smoothly for optimal performance. Among these essential components, the kidneys stand out as key players in the detoxification process. But did you know that what you eat can significantly impact their function? In this video, we're shedding light on 12 common foods that might be lurking in your daily diet, potentially putting extra strain on your kidneys. Whether you're looking to boost your kidney health or you've been advised by your doctor to adopt a kidney-friendly diet, this information is invaluable. So, if you're curious to find out if some of your everyday favorites could be causing trouble for your kidneys, then keep watching. Let's uncover the dietary culprits that could be sabotaging your kidney health and learn how to make smarter choices for a happier, healthier you. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. Oh, a quick favor, we greatly appreciate it. If you can subscribe and like this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content, share it more widely. Ah, oh, the mighty spinach. Often hailed as a nutritional superhero, this leafy green packs a punch when it comes to health benefits. But hold on a second, because there are some nuances to consider, especially in the realm of kidney health. Raw or lightly cooked, spinach is brimming with nutrients, but it also brings a couple of considerations to the table. Let's talk potassium and oxalates. While potassium is essential for many bodily functions, an excess of it can spell trouble for those with kidney issues, potentially causing heart rhythm abnormalities that could be hazardous. Now, oxalates, on the other hand, are natural compounds found in certain foods, including our beloved spinach. Not exactly a fun ride, right? This is particularly important for folks prone to kidney stone formation or those already battling kidney disease. And let's not forget about vitamin K1, another standout feature of spinach. While crucial for blood clotting, an excess of vitamin K can throw a wrench in the works for individuals on blood thinners, messing with their medication's effectiveness. Now, while these considerations might sound a tad alarming, it's not all doom and gloom for our beloved spinach. Moderation is the name of the game here. Sure. Spinach remains a nutritional powerhouse that doesn't necessarily need to be banished from your plate. But keeping an eye on your intake is key, especially if you've been advised to stick to a low potassium or low oxalate diet for kidney health reasons. It's all about finding that delicate balance for your body's well-being. Ah, the lure of dark-colored colas. With their fizzy bubbles and refreshing taste, they often beckon us, especially on a hot day. But before you dive headfirst into that tempting can, let's talk about their potential impact on kidney health. Now, what's the main culprit here? It's that sneaky component called phosphoric acid, lurking within dark-colored colas to give them their tangy flavor and keep those pesky molds and bacteria at bay. While it may work wonders for taste buds, excessive consumption of phosphoric acid has been linked to kidney stones and other renal issues. Well, it seems this acid has a knack for boosting the excretion of calcium in urine, which can potentially team up with other waste products to form those painful kidney stones. But wait, there's more. Dark-colored colas often come with an added punch of high sugar levels. And we all know what excessive sugar intake can lead to weight gain and obesity, both of which put extra strain on the kidneys and up the ante for kidney disease. But the consequences don't stop there. That hefty dose of sugar also ups the risk for heart disease, invites dental cavities to the party, and even plays a role in insulin resistance, possibly paving the way for type 2 diabetes. And let's not forget about the caffeine content in these colas, which can leave you feeling parched and dehydrated, a potential red flag for kidney health, especially if you're not guzzling enough water throughout the day. Now, don't get me wrong. An occasional indulgence in a dark-colored cola isn't going to sound alarm bells. But when it becomes a habitual and excessive habit, that's when we need to pay attention. So, before you crack open that enticing can, think about the cumulative impact on your kidneys and overall health. It's all about being mindful and making informed choices for your body's well-being. 
Let's talk about beans and lentils, those hearty legumes that often find their way into our meals for their rich reserves of plant-based protein fiber and an array of essential nutrients. While they're celebrated for their nutritional prowess, individuals with kidney concerns need to proceed with caution. The primary concern arises from their high levels of potassium and phosphorus, minerals that can pose challenges for those with compromised kidney function. As we've discussed earlier, when the kidneys struggle to filter out excess potassium, it can lead to hyperkalemia, a condition that spells trouble for heart rhythm. Similarly, inefficient removal of phosphorus by the kidneys in individuals with kidney disease can result in elevated levels in the blood. This excess phosphorus can wreak havoc on the body's calcium utilization, potentially leading to bone issues and unpleasant symptoms like itchy skin. In severe cases, it may even contribute to the hardening of arteries, upping the risk of heart disease. Despite these potential concerns, it's essential to recognize the significant nutritional benefits that beans and lentils bring to the table. They can still be part of a balanced diet, especially if recommended by your doctor. However, if kidney concerns warrant limitations on these foods, there are strategies to reduce their potassium and phosphorus content. Techniques like soaking, sprouting, or boiling can help minimize these minerals' levels, making them safer for consumption. But wait, there's more to consider. Beyond kidney considerations, beans and lentils can sometimes stir up digestive issues in certain individuals. This can be attributed to a specific type of carbohydrate that the body finds challenging to break down, often leading to uncomfortable gas and bloating. In conclusion, while beans and lentils offer a plethora of health benefits, individuals with kidney concerns should approach them with care. Proper preparation methods can help minimize potential side effects, ensuring that these nutrient-dense legumes can still be enjoyed as part of a well-rounded diet. It's all about striking the right balance and making informed choices for your health and well-being. Let's dive into the world of bananas, those ubiquitous fruits known for their nutritional punch, convenience, and irresistible flavor. While they're often hailed as a go-to snack or easy addition to any diet, bananas may not be the best bet for individuals grappling with kidney issues. Here's why, bananas earn their stripes for their sky-high potassium content. A medium-sized banana packs a whopping 422 milligrams of potassium, which could be a concern for those with kidney problems. While most people can happily munch on bananas without worrying, those advised to adhere to a low-potassium diet may need to exercise caution or even steer clear altogether. But hold on, bananas aren't just about potassium. However, it's crucial to recognize that bananas might not sit well with everyone. Allergic reactions to bananas can crop up in some folks, showing up as itching, swelling, or even wheezing. And here's another twist, bananas contain magnesium, a mineral known to induce feelings of sleepiness. In a nutshell, while bananas can certainly be a wholesome addition to a balanced diet, those with kidney concerns or other health issues may want to think twice before reaching for that bunch. For those on a low potassium regimen, exploring alternative fruits with gentler potassium levels might be the wiser route to take. After all, when it comes to nourishing your body, it's all about making choices that align with your health goals and needs. Let's take a closer look at tomatoes, those vibrant and versatile fruits that grace countless dishes with their tangy goodness. While tomatoes are often hailed as nutritional powerhouses brimming with health benefits, there are certain scenarios, especially when it comes to kidney health, where a bit of caution might be in order. Tomatoes are known for their potassium prowess, packing a punch of up to 290 to milligrams of this essential mineral in just one medium-sized fruit. While potassium is vital for many bodily functions, including nerve and muscle function, excessive intake can pose challenges, especially for individuals with kidney concerns. But wait, there's more to the tomato story. These juicy gems also boast a considerable amount of oxalates, natural compounds found in various foods. Overindulging in oxalates could potentially contribute to the formation of kidney stones, especially for those predisposed to such issues. And here's another twist, tomatoes contain solanine, a compound that may not agree with everyone. For some, sensitivity to solanine can rear its head as inflammation and joint pain, particularly for individuals grappling with arthritis. But that's not all the acidic nature of tomatoes might spell trouble for those prone to heartburn or acid reflux. While tomatoes are indeed bursting with vitamin C, lycopene, and other antioxidants. 
Individuals advised to follow a low-potassium or low-potassium or low-oxalate diet due to kidney health concerns may need to exercise caution with their tomato intake. As always, it's all about balance and being mindful of individual health conditions when making dietary decisions. While tomatoes can undoubtedly be a nutritious addition to most diets, those with specific health concerns might need to adjust their consumption accordingly. After all, a little moderation and awareness can go a long way towards supporting overall health and well-being. Let's dive into the dairy dilemma. While dairy products are lauded for their rich reserves of essential nutrients like calcium and vitamin D, they may pose potential hurdles for those navigating kidney issues. One of the key concerns lies in the high phosphorus content of dairy delights. Although phosphorus is paramount for bone health, Individuals grappling with kidney disease encounter obstacles in efficiently excreting excess phosphorus from their bodies. What's more, heightened phosphorus levels can induce itchiness and, at more severe stages, contribute to arterial hardening, upping the anti-on heart disease risks. But wait, there's more to the dairy dilemma. These creamy concoctions are also hefty protein powerhouses. While protein is pivotal for bodily functions, the hefty protein payload in dairy products can overwhelm the kidneys, making it trickier to flush out all the waste products of protein metabolism. And let's not forget about the saturated fats lurking in dairy delights, which have been known to hike up LDL cholesterol levels, paving the way for heart disease. Now, don't get me wrong dairy products undoubtedly have their merit in a well-rounded diet. However, the key lies in consuming them judiciously, especially for those with kidney concerns. If kidney issues are on your radar, it's wise to tap into the expertise of healthcare professionals to chart out a dietary plan that strikes the perfect balance between indulgence and restraint. After all, a tailored approach can make all the difference in safeguarding kidney health while still savoring the creamy goodness of dairy delights. Let's peel back the layers on oranges. These citrus sensations are celebrated for their burst of vitamin C and zesty flavor, earning them a spot on the healthy food roster. But if kidney concerns are on your radar, it might be time to squeeze out some caution before reaching for that juicy orange. Here's the juicy scoop oranges, along with their liquid counterpart, orange juice, pack a punch when it comes to potassium. A medium-sized orange contains a hefty 237 milligrams of potassium, while just one cup of orange juice can flood your system with a whopping 496 milligrams. For individuals navigating kidney issues and needing to keep their potassium intake in check, indulging in oranges might need to be reined in or even sidelined altogether. But wait, there's more acidity to this citrus tail. Oranges boast a tangy acidity that can spell trouble for those susceptible to heartburn or acid reflux, stirring up discomfort with every juicy bite. And for individuals prone to kidney stones, oranges could be lurking in the danger zone. Certain types of oxalates found in oranges have a knack for teaming up with calcium in the urine, paving the way for stone formation. Now, don't toss those oranges aside just yet. Despite their potential pitfalls, oranges offer a treasure trove of health benefits, dishing out a hefty dose of immune-boosting vitamin C. Instead, let moderation be your compass and keep a keen eye on your individual health conditions when weaving oranges into your dietary tapestry. After all, a balanced approach is the zestful way to navigate the orange oasis of nutritional goodness. Let's take a detour to our fifth contender, processed meats. From sizzling bacon to savory deli cuts, these culinary conveniences may tempt your taste buds, but they could also be throwing a curveball at your kidneys. Strap in as we uncover the reasons behind this meaty mystery. First up, the sodium saga. With every succulent bite, you're inviting a flood of sodium into your system. But here's the kicker, excessive sodium spells trouble for your blood pressure, and high blood pressure is like a silent ninja wreaking havoc on your kidneys behind the scenes. The relentless pressure can push your kidneys to their breaking point, dialing down their function over time. But wait, there's more on the plate. Processed meats also pack a punch in the protein department. Now, protein is essential for keeping your body ticking, but when it comes in excess, your kidneys may start feeling the heat. Picture them as backstage crew members trying to keep up with a superstar performer, the workload becomes overwhelming. And let's not forget about the unhealthy fats lurking in these meaty morsels. Saturated and trans fats can cozy up to your arteries, paving the way for heart disease to strut onto the stage. Oh, and here's the plot twist, 
processed meats have landed a starring role in the cancer cast. Yes, you heard that right. They've snagged the top spot as Group 1 carcinogens, meaning they come with a side of strong evidence linking them to cancer. Talk about a chilling revelation. Now, before you swear off processed meats forever, let's dish out some healthier alternatives. Think lean, and processed meats or plant-based protein powerhouses to shake up your menu. By making mindful choices that put your health front and center, you're not just nourishing your body, you're giving your kidneys a standing ovation. So, in summary, while processed meats may offer convenience and flavor in every bite, it's crucial to keep a watchful eye on their impact. By opting for leaner and processed options or turning to plant-based proteins, you're not just flipping the script on your diet, you're penning a healthier, happier ending for your kidneys and overall well-being. Let's dive into the realm of convenience cuisine with our fourth contender, canned soups and ready meals. While they may seem like culinary knights in shining armor, swooping in to save the day when time is tight, they might not be the insane heroes your kidneys deserve. Prepare for a flavor-filled exploration of their impact on kidney health. Picture this, you're in a rush, and your stomach is growling like a hungry lion. Enter canned soups and ready meals, ready to rescue you from the clutches of hunger. But before you grab that can opener or peel back the lid, here's the scoop. These time savers often come with a hefty dose of sodium. Yep, we're talking about enough salt to make the Dead Sea blush. Why? To pump up the flavor and give these meals a longer shelf life. But here's the catch, excessive sodium can be a kidney's kryptonite. Phosphates, the rock stars of processed foods, are often invited to amp up the taste and keep things fresh. But behind the scenes, they're stirring up trouble for your kidneys. These sneaky compounds have been known to tag team with sodium, wreaking havoc on kidney function. But wait, there's more on the menu. Canned soups and ready meals often come with a side of nutritional disappointment. Think in healthy fats and sugars lurking in the shadows, just waiting to sabotage your health goals. From weight gain to heart disease and even the dreaded type to diabetes, these meals can pack a punch in all the wrong ways. And here's the kicker for some unlucky diners. These convenience concoctions can trigger a symphony of allergic reactions. Headaches, bloating, and fatigue may crash the party, leaving you feeling like you've been hit by a flavor-filled freight train. So, what's the solution? While canned soups and ready meals may offer a quick fix for your hunger pangs, it's wise to approach them with caution, especially if you're keeping an eye on your kidney health. Opting for fresh, Home-cooked meals whenever possible gives you the power to take charge of your ingredients and prioritize a diet rich in nutrients. It's not just about satisfying your cravings, it's about nourishing your body and soul with every bite. Let's pickle our way into the realm of number 3, pickles. Ah, the beloved tang of pickles, a staple on many tables and nestled snugly between sandwich slices. But before you dive into that jar, let's have a chat about why pickles might not be the kidney's best friend. Picture this, you're about to sink your teeth into that crisp, flavorful pickle, and suddenly, a warning sign flashes before your eyes. While the lure of pickles is undeniable, they come with a salty secret that could spell trouble for your kidneys. Yep, you guessed it, it's the sodium. You see, munching on salty delights like pickles can send your kidneys into overdrive, struggling to flush out all that excess salt. This sodium overload can lead to a cascade of complications, including sodium retention and a spike in blood pressure. But hold your pickle-loving horses, because there's more acidity to this tale. The vinegar used in pickling adds an extra zing to the mix, but it also packs a punch of acid that can throw your body's pH balance out of whack. Too much acidity can leave your kidneys scrambling to maintain equilibrium, potentially paving the way for metabolic acidosis and the dreaded formation of kidney stones. But wait, there's a salty plot twist, excess sodium isn't just a one-trick pony. It can also wreak havoc on your cardiovascular system, leading to fluid buildup in folks with heart conditions and swelling in all the wrong places think legs, ankles, and feet. And let's not forget its starring role in the heart disease and stroke saga. So, while you savor that tangy pickle, remember to tread lightly if kidney health is on your radar. Moderation is key to keeping those sodium levels in check and giving your kidneys the love and care they deserve. After all, a balanced diet is like a symphony of every ingredient plays a crucial role in keeping your body humming along harmoniously. 
Let's dive into the intriguing world of number 2 avocados. Now, don't get me wrong, indulging in the creamy goodness of an avocado every now and then is like a little slice of heaven. But before you go on an avocado eating spree, it's time to peel back the layers and explore why they might not be the kidney's best but in excess. Sure, avocados are often hailed as a poster child for healthy eating, packed to the brim with nutrients that make dietitians swoon. But for those navigating the murky waters of kidney issues, avocados can be a double-edged sword. You see, the trouble lies in their potassium content, the very mineral that keeps our cellular engines humming along smoothly. Now, in a perfect world, potassium is the unsung hero of our bodily functions, pulling off a delicate balancing act behind the scenes. But when kidneys hit a rough patch and can't quite keep up, excess potassium can wreak havoc leading to a condition ominously known as hyperkalemia. And trust me, you don't want to mess with hyperkalemia and it's like opening Pandora's box of heart rhythm woes and potential cardiac mayhem. But wait, there's more to this avocado saga. Brace yourself for a calorie-packed plot twist. And while a little indulgence here and there won't hurt, going overboard can tip the scales quite literally towards weight gain. And guess what? Being on the heavier side isn't just a vanity concern. It's a red flag for kidney health, as those poor kidneys are left hauling extra baggage and working overtime to filter out toxins. But fear not, avocado aficionados, for there's a silver lining in this creamy cloud. Enjoying avocados in moderation can strike the perfect balance between savoring their nutritional bounty and keeping your kidney health in check. So, next time you reach for that avocado toast or whip up a batch of guac, Remember to tread lightly and let moderation be your guiding light on the avocado-filled path to wellness. It's essential to grasp the profound impact our food choices wield over our overall well-being, especially considering the pivotal role played by our kidneys. While certain foods may potentially throw a wrench into the gears of kidney health, they needn't be banished from our plates altogether. With moderation and mindful preparation, they can still find a place in a balanced and nutritious diet. For individuals grappling with kidney concerns, seeking personalized advice from a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian is paramount. Tailoring dietary choices to fit specific health conditions and nutritional needs ensures a path that prioritizes well-being. At the heart of a healthy diet lies the triumvirate of balance, variety, and moderation. So, if you found these insights enlightening, be sure to hit that like button, share with friends, and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to furnishing you with top-notch health tips and insights, ensuring your journey to wellness is not just informed but also enjoyable. Please feel free to share your insights in the comments below so we can learn from each other along our journey for a healthy life. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.